Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the inaugural Unified Voices of Dearborn performance and workshop. Um, the, what you're about to see is the culmination of almost five months of planning and organizing and preparing. The, all the students on stage and the students behind you spent today working in workshops with professional educators from all over the state of Michigan. And um, <clears throat> so we're very excited to, for the first time ever, at least that anyone can remember going back like 80 years or so, um, have the Dearborn High School, Edsel Ford High School, and Fordson High School choirs all performing together on the same stage at the same time. So, um, yeah. so I'm not going to talk very much. My name is Matt Laura, and I'm the choir director here at Fordson. Um, behind me is Ms. Carmel Adkins. She's the choir director over at Dearborn High. And then up in um, the heavens is um, <laughs> Robert Doyle, who is the uh, director of choirs over at Edsel Ford. Um, this evening, we're very happy to present um, some numbers together and then some numbers featuring the uh, Michigan Educators Men's Ensemble, uh, who was here today working with um, the students. So enjoy the performance. Thank you so much for coming. Blue checks on the pen, I want you there by my side. 
Thank you very much. Uh, we're really pleased to be here this evening. Thanks to all of you for supporting music in your schools and supporting real live music sung by real people for other people. Live, not electronically redistributed. So thanks. We really appreciate it. I'm Clayton Parr. I direct the choirs at Albion College. And um, I'm fortunate to be working with these gentlemen behind you, all of whom are music teachers in the schools throughout Michigan. We'll introduce each of them uh, later on in due course, but uh, we'd like to keep the talking between numbers to a minimum. This next piece by Samuel Wesley uh, from the 19th century called Si Iniquitates Observaveris, which means, uh, Lord, if you're counting our sins, how will we stand? Where my possessions lie, I'm 
Thank you very much. One of the one of the we're singing several pieces from the um, really great and rich repertoire of spirituals written for men's voices. Um, the, my my colleague, my other the other soloist on that last piece from Vicksburg High School and Middle School, which is out in the in Kalamazoo County, is um, Dustin Morris. Part of our heritage and. Uh, part of our heritage of spirituals comes right from Metro Detroit. This next uh, arrangement, Steal Away, uh, was done by Brazil Denard, who uh, for many years was the choir director at Detroit Southwestern High School, also was on the faculty at, uh, at Wayne State University for some time, and did the, uh, uh, d directed the Brazil Denard Singers. And he's one of, one of the people that I learned about spirituals from. And this is his arrangement of Steal Away. We'll follow that up with... Um, an arrangement by Yuzi Brown, who is on the faculty at Morehouse College in Atlanta. This is Dr. Martin Luther King's alma mater. Uh, soloists on that piece will be Dustin Morris again, and also my colleague on this, and Michael Peterson, who is the choral director at Clarkston High School. So we, sometimes we have to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> Oh! 
As the program says, we're called meme, yeah? Some of you know this term from some stuff that flies around on the internet sometimes, but the idea is, of course, is that a meme is a concept or idea that can be replicated in other places. And one of the things that we hope to do um, by, the, by us getting together and singing is encouraging other people, other guys, other gals, everybody, to get involved in singing and come out to concerts and try it yourself. So um, that's one of the things that we're trying to do. And we're also really trying to continue to honor the heritage of the state of Michigan. And um, one of the things that the state of Michigan is known for is hardworking people. And so we have a series of work songs for you from various, from various countries. This first one is a coal mining song from Ireland called Biker Hill. If I had another penny, I would have another chill. I would pay the biker, pay me the money, that's a biker here. Biker here and Walker Shore, tell your lads forevermore. Biker here and Walker Shore, tell your lads forevermore. When first I come down to the dirt, I had no trousers, no pink shirt. Now I've got in two or three, oh, Walker, it's done well by me. Walker Hill and Walker Shore, fire lads forevermore. Walker Hill and Walker 
introductions um, now um, in this next piece another work song um, this time singing about long hours away from home and low pay which after all is part of work often yeah um, uh, this is uh, arranged by uh, 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 Robert Shaw and Alice Parker and our soloist once again on this next piece will be uh, Mike Peterson from Clarkston next to him um, from the Wald Lake Public School District is Mark Myers <laughs> And in our, base, in our base section, Ian Bobby, he teaches at Marshall Middle School in, in Calhoun County. Uh, Emmerich D. here from up north. He is a choir director at Roscommon High School. Middle school. And our first tenors are Nathan Masterson, who is from Lowell near Grand Rapids. And also Kyle Zoik, who is the... Uh, uh, is, uh, directing the, the children's chorus at the MSU Community Music School. I'm, I'm very honored to have the opportunity to work for these guys who basically, they just, that's, I work for and with them and, and we don't have, because we're all, all lead busy lives, we don't have very much time to get together. Um, sometimes we only, we, we had one rehearsal really for this performance, it was two and a half weeks ago, because we just live, lead these busy lives and they basically work for expenses. Um, we, we're just, it's a semi-pro group, we get our mileage covered, and so we're doing this really to, I guess, spread the word, I would say. So we have two more work songs for you. The, the, the next one is uh, Lowlands, and what's after that? Oh, and then a song, oh, I'll have to introduce that one separately. So this one is called Lowlands. I think you'll love it. Oh, 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 oh,
So I don't think it would be a Michigan program in January if we didn't have a song about bad weather. And that's what this next song is about. It's just bad weather's coming. You know it's coming. You live in Michigan. You better hunker down. And that's the name of it. That's the name of the piece. It's Hunker Down by Tobin Stokes. to do research about our songs. It's very important to do research. And you know, some male groups, you know, in the past are called glee clubs, right? That you know about this term, yeah? And glee now is much more popular because I guess there's a TV show that some people watch. Um, and so we wanted to, to do some research for you about the origin, the historical origin of this term. And that's what this next song is about. Glee, glee, which is why we, we, we sing or rain. Glee, 
<laughs> no chimpanzee. See, see. Up in a tree, tree, tree could possibly be as gleeful as we. <laughs> We're taking our glee, glee, glee on a glee spree, spree, spree from Waikiki, king, king, to go get see, see, see the bourgeoisie, see, see and the aristocracy all seem to agree. Glee is the key to tranquility. Lee. But one of his words pedigree. Mm, yes, how did the word glee come to oh. me? Oh. 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 Glee is a song for horses and three for more parts. Usually, a company, a type of song especially popular from the 17th through the 18th century. The name stems from a form of vocal harmony, known officially as the Glee. When I'm not doing this or teaching at uh, Albion, um, I love to sing songs and talk about Georgia. This is not Atlanta. This is Georgia in the Caucasus, uh, bordering on Turkey and Azerbaijan and Russia. And this next song is called Srenos Nuri. It is a horse riding song from there. Um, and as a lot of Georgian songs are about horse riding, war, and love.
thanks very much. If you want to hear a little bit more about us or keep track of what's coming up next, um, you can always visit our web website, which is michiganmeme.com. That's Michigan M-E-M-E. -E. So we have one more for you. What can I say? This is also about Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, meme. It's mem, I know it's mem. As we prepare for our final number um, this evening before we bring um, 220, I think, students uh, up on stage, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about what led up to this and um, a huge list of thank yous. And I know I'm gonna miss someone and I'm sorry. If I did, um, I mess up all the time. Okay, so um, the when I first hired in at Dearborn Schools a little over a year ago, I was already good friends with Mrs. Atkins and Mr. Doyle, and we decided that we really need to do something together because um, singing and music and singing in particular can bring people together in ways that nothing else can. So we thought we are going to do this, and it's going to be easy and fun. And we were almost right, <laughs> because it's been so much fun, like today, and like the last couple weeks, not as much, but today, so much fun. So um, 
we <clears throat> we approached the Dearborn Education Foundation about a grant for something exactly like this, and um, we were generously given a grant to put on today. So um, the first person I would like to thank is Eddie Fakori and the Dearborn Education Foundation. Uh, the next step was uh, we put together a significant grant proposal to um, to bring all three choirs uh, to a level where we could perform in other places, not just in our own buildings, but um, across town and across the state. And um, with a significant amount of help from um, from Eddie Fakori and from the Dearborn Education Foundation, we were awarded a substantial grant, grant from the Brem Foundation, Mr. and Mrs. Brem and the Brem Foundation. Um, and they're the reason that we're having the performance tonight. So thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Brem and the Brem Foundation. And all of that is wonderful because we can say we can come together and we can do these wonderful things together um, across town and across the state. And um, But not one of those things would have happened without amazing support from our administration here at Dearborn Public Schools and at the high schools in particular. So um, to Superintendent Whiston, Assistant Superintendent Peterson, and the school board, thank you so much for all of your support. Um, to the principals at the three high schools, and for me in particular, to uh, Mr. Masalam. Um, also to Mr. Casebolt and Mr. Mr. Boffman, who have done a tremendous amount of work to let us be here. Thank you very much. To the infinite people who you will never know who were running like crazy behind the scenes. Um, to Hassan Sala, who gave up a Friday evening to come and help with the sound. To, um, to Mrs. Ferris, who is uh, fiercely guarding the door over here. And um, she was a Director's Award winner from Fordson, so she's a choir alum of the highest degree. To uh, Rod Alawan, who has given us tremendous coverage with School Life, who's over here, I thought I saw him. <laughs> to our district music coordinator, uh, Lisa Meyer, who has given hours and hours and hours of her time to let us uh, be here also. I know she's here somewhere. <laughs> Um, to the um, Edsel Ford Crescendo Club, who have, um, yeah, you can. <laughs> they've, they've put together a little reception in the media center following um, the performance, and we would love for um, parents to come up and stop by and say hi and, um, and just sort of mingle and, and enjoy. Um, uh, and, uh, of course, I wouldn't be here without all of the work of uh, Carmel Adkins and Robert Doyle, the two other choir directors. I, I think that's everything on my list. Hold on. I think, I think that's my list. It's not about me. It's never been about me. Uh, but... <laughs> um, it, it, someone asked me today whose idea it was because we want to strangle that person. So. <laughs> and it, it, it really wasn't that I did anything more or more spectacular or more special than anyone else, but um, I have a six and seven year old daughter at home. So I'm used to just pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing until they like pick up their stuff. So that's kind of what happened with this. I just pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed until you picked up your toys and you all came over and played at my house. <laughs> so our final number this evening, um, we have the gentlemen coming up to stage. We have women are coming up to stage. Um, we're going to present Baba Yetu, a Swahili piece um, featuring soloists whose names are in your program, I think, because I don't remember them. Uh, I didn't write them down, and I'm bad at remembering things. Thank you so much for coming out this evening, um, and enjoy the sight of 220 Dearborn High School 
Dearborn Public Schools high school students singing together for the first time. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,